I don't, I think I need some help with my laundry. Hey there, washed and left out to dry. Trace here, rocking some duds on D News. You might think science is something only done in labs, but every week or so, chances are you suspend organic and synthetic fibers in a solution of water, enzymes, surfactants, and detergents to confine particulates and relax molecular bonds. In layman's terms, you do laundry. And when you think about it, you're really doing controlled chemistry. Unfortunately, we don't all do this at-home science in the same way, which is why when doing laundry, we've all messed up a favorite sweater or shrunk a pair of pants. But why do all of these things shrink at all? What's going on there? So firstly, there are a couple of kinds of fibers used to make clothing, synthetic and natural. In general, synthetics are man-made polymers like polyester, Kevlar, or acrylic. Their fibers are strings of petroleum-based chemical chains. Synthetics made from petroleum products don't typically shrink in laundry because the washer and dryer do not get hot enough to mess with their molecular structure or anything else, so let's ignore those. Natural fibers, on the other hand, they come from animals and plants. The fibers of cotton, wool, or silk are naturally curly and tangled. So when you want to weave these threads into fabrics, you have to stretch them to pull them out and make them straight. But if given the opportunity to return to their naturally curly state, they will. And scientists have discovered all that heat and mechanical energy in laundry let them do just that in a process they call, funnily enough, shrinkage. There are three kinds of shrinkage, relaxation, felting, and consolidation. Relaxing is the immediate release of that stretching and pulling tension left behind from the straightening of natural fibers in manufacturing. That tension exists on a molecular level and is left over from that process. When tepid or warm water is added to natural fabric, the warmth will let the fabric swell, reducing the size by about 1%, not too shabby. Felting shrinkage is when the fibers themselves actually get shorter. If you magnify wool in an electron microscope, it's made of tiny scales, just like human hair. According to a paper in the Textile Research Journal, the heat from the washer can expand these scales, letting water get in between them. Water is slippery, so it reduces the coefficient of friction, and those scales then slide together, contracting rootward like a retracting car or radio antenna. Super cool. The third type is consolidation shrinkage, and it happens in the laundry process itself. The mechanical bouncing action of your washer and dryer beats up the fibers, causing them to curl back up again. A 2002 study in the Research Journal of Association of Universities for Textiles found the structure of the fabric can affect shrinkage too. Denim jeans are tightly woven cotton, so they only shrink a little. But sweaters, they're mostly air, so they can shrink by as much as 30%, according to popular science. Even the natural moisture content of the fibers themselves can affect this shrinkage. Cotton has about 5%, and wool has about 17%. So over-drying will inevitably cause clothing to change shape. In World War II, Nazi scientists added plastics to wool to fill in the spaces and solidify the fibers. Today, this continues with manufacturers weaving in non-shrinking synthetics and chemists inventing new anti-shrinking agents to cover natural fibers and keep them from curling up. More research is obviously needed. Look, scientists who did write these papers on shrinkage were quick to point out everyone does laundry differently. Water temperature, amount of time, detergent, clothing fibers, and even machine manufacturer can all add variables to this at-home science project. The best way to love your clothes is to remember that one, the instructions on the tag are there for a reason, the people who made the clothes know how to clean it, and when in doubt, don't add heat and mechanical energy. Use cold water and avoid the dryer. And two, remember that natural fiber clothing is made from parts of living things. Living things aren't supposed to last forever, and that's actually kind of okay. Skinny jeans, sweaters, tiny t-shirts, why am I reminded of hipsters? Oh, because they're all the same. At least that's what this mathematician discovered. So I did a whole video about it. Grab your fancy coffee and give it a click. Hipsters are difficult to describe as a group, but we know one when we see one, right? And a new mathematical neuroscience paper explains why that is. The hipster effect, when anti-conformists all look the same. Do you love laundry? Do you hate it? Are you super meticulous about how things get folded? Let us know down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe so you get all of the D news that we got up in here. And thanks for watching.